Okay, my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to check a defrost termination switch, also called a limit switch. What this does is it hooks in series to the circuit for the heater that defrosts the ice in the freezer. And basically it protects the heater from in case it gets stuck on so it doesn't cook the food, which I've seen done many times. So I rigged up this uh, test harness here that's hooked into my multimeter. And I'm going to connect this to here so that when this limit switch closes, it's going to show continuity if the contacts inside are closing. So in order to know what which um, limit switch you have, because they're all marked, you have to get a magnifying glass, or maybe you don't, maybe you have good eyes. <laughs> but I checked this already, and this is um, an L55-25. Which means that it opens at 55 degrees and it closes at 25. So on a lot of refrigerators, most of the refrigerators today, the evaporator fan motor is tied in to this limit switch so that the fan does not come on until the temperature drops down to 25 degrees, thereby preventing the freezer fan from circulating warm, moist air, which would be a problem in the freezer. So that's the reasoning behind that. But it's basically a safety device. And so um, what we're going to do is here's my temperature control, I mean to tester here. I'm going to stick this in to um, contact the tip of this switch. And this is a 5 16 tubing. And this is what they normally, uh, Sub-Zero normally uses a 5 16 uh, tubing on their evaporators. So I'm going to stick that in there. We're going to hook it up so that we can measure that temperature. I'm going to put it in my freezer and we're going to watch as the temperature goes down and see if this thing closes at 25 degrees. Okay, so let's stand by. Okay, so now the temperature is going down. I hope you can see that. I'm having a problem with this probe. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to shut it off, let's see, and wait. Okay, it's down to 45. It's down to 35. 30. Here it goes, right there at 26 degrees, it closed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find out at 55 degrees or somewhere around there, that's going to open up and shut off. Okay, so let's open up the drawer. I'll grab this. Put the probe back on there because it fell out. It's not a really great setup, but I guess you get the gist. So here's the temperatures going up. At 55 or near it, it should open. It's at 55, there it goes. I can see the needle moving, but it's still on. 56. It's 
got it completely open. The eight. There it goes. I heard it click. Okay, so it clicks off at 59. Okay, so there you have it. This is a functioning defrost termination switch. It doesn't have to be right on the money because it's all going to be dependent on the contact of the probe onto the bimetal there, the metal. And I'm also having a little bit of an issue with my temperature uh, probe here. Something wrong with this wire, but it did work inside. So, um, let me explain to you what happened. I went on this job yesterday, and uh, it was a Model 650, and it was completely frosted up. I mean, it wasn't ice. It was frost, as if the defrost heater wasn't turning on. And I put it into manual defrost mode by pressing the ice maker button in for 15 seconds, and uh, it shut off, and I heard... It go into defrost, but I wasn't quite sure if the heater was on because I didn't hear any sizzling noises or any water dripping on the cow rod or anything like that. So I took the whole freezer apart and completely defrosted it with my heat gun and turned it back on. And the refrigerator, the freezer is working, but the customer called me back yesterday and told me that it's really hard to close his drawer. And so I'm thinking, okay, maybe some water moisture got into the track or the tracks and that prevented the drawer from closing properly, which led me to believe that maybe it wasn't the defrost termination switch to begin with, that it's very possible that they could have an issue with the tracks. And they also told me, and I asked them several times, that no one left the door open. So I changed the limit switch, and I did what I had to do. But now I have to go back and find out why the drawer is hard to close. I'm assuming that maybe the track is uh, the tracks are iced up, so I just have to defrost the tracks and melt them. But uh, they also told me that they had the um, tracks replaced at one time. So now I'm going back there tomorrow to recheck it, but as far as this switch is concerned, this is good. So I will keep you posted, but if anything, that's how you check uh, this defrost termination switch. Uh, this thing's still good. All right, see you on the next one, guys.